Hello, my sweet, sweet YouTube viewers. So, I wanted to take... I wasn't sure what battle team I wanted to use, but I found this one that was given to me by a viewer, and I thought it was just really, really fun. It's just basically built around setting up Tailwind and spamming Disquake. Now, I know the year is 2022, but Disquake is still good, and honestly, it's better than ever. So, the code's up there. It... <laughs> It's made by Liberty Note, which is a Japanese um, team website. It's sick. Again, use the code. This team is so much fun. But let's just get into the games. This, te this team is self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. Spread, s Spam spread moves and just body them. That's it. That's all it is. All right. We're currently sitting at rank 156, which is pretty solid. I, I really can't complain. It's a pretty decent rank right now. We're 21 days into the season. So we still got some time for improvement to... Uh, to end, we just finished our 100th battle. Life is good. Let's see if we can body these morons. All right, 151. Okay, they're around our rank. Thank God. Okay. So we've got kind of a Trick Room-esque team with a little bit of Mouse Hold, a little bit of uh, Murkrow action as well. Hmm. Part of me is tempted to just lead Disquake. It's really stupid because it works. They do might they might have Wide Guard, though, which would be a little annoying. Um. Huh. You know what? We just gotta do it. We're just gonna disquake. We're just gonna disquake and bring the boys in the back. That's all we're gonna do. We got we gotta spam disquake here. If they literally don't lead armor rouge, disquake's perfection. It's it's wonderful. Life is good. There's no errors in our gameplay. If they lead armor rouge, well then we've got ourselves some mind games. But we'll cross that road when we get there. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a murkrow. Mousehold lead. So, Mousehold could body our electric bird friend here, which just wouldn't be appreciated. So, I think I'm just going to turn one, swap in the Golden Go, and then I'm going to go for a good old Rock Slide here. I don't want to risk losing the bird, because the bird is really, really good. Also, the bird is really dumb, and the fact that it ruins the way the, the game looks, like, for whatever reason, when the bird is on the left side, the game looks like utter garbage, and you can't actually see anything that's going on. Like, even if I move my cam, like, you can't... You, you, why? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Anyways, um, Golden Go comes in. We're probably going to see a Pop Bomb Tailwind if I were to be a betting man. Um, Alright, one for one so far. We're going to see a Pop Bomb from the mouse hold. Whoa, we do, and it doesn't affect Golden Go. Surprise, surprise. And Rock Slide comes through. Does okay damage. Take a Life Orb tick. Not too bad. Ooh, they got the family of three. That's pretty cool. All right, what could they possibly have in the back? So they have Hydragon and then probably like Ndidi or Torkoal. Or Armourish, I guess. I named all four Pokemon. They have they have, they probably have Hydragon, though. It would make the most sense. I'm going to hit him with this Make It Rain. And I kind of want to Declaw. Just in case something swaps. They protect. That's fine. What are they going to do here? Foul play. And then switch to... Okay, they're going to foul play. It's going to die. They foul play Garchomp. So now he can die to Population Bomb. And then they're going to bring in Hydreigon. All we got to do is stall tail when we win this game, by the way. This is looking so good for us. Are we making it rain, baby? Just throwing our coins at uh, Murkrow here. Slaughtering the poor crow. Huh. This next turn's hard. Honestly, I probably should just protect it, Garchomp. I wasn't thinking there. I was not thinking. Alright, I know High Dragon's coming in. So do we just swap out Golden Go and protect? I think that's what we should do. Oh, Armor Rouge. Huh. Well, that makes my turn easier. Pop on... Well, it's not gonna die. I'm gonna let Garchomp faint. You fought valiantly, soldier. You got one single rock slide off, and we never even got to discharge with you, buddy. But you did your best. You fought well. I think it's just an armor cannon, armor cannon pop bomb. I can't see anything else possible here. Like I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know what they can do besides that. Like let's be real with ourselves. All right, Golden Go, come back. Armor Cannon feels good at Inti Dragon, I'm not gonna lie. We might even just max this guy. I actually no, because we're oh the tables are turning here. The gears are whirling in my mind. What could this possibly be? Psychic? 
huh? I'm not sure why they did that whatsoever. That makes zero sense. They're gonna... Oh, Jesus, no. No, 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 no! No, no, I know what's happening. Oh, no. It makes complete sense. I was a fool. Oh, it's not Trick Room Armor Rouge at all. But simply the Expanding Force Weakness Policy set. Oh, this is so dumb. They got me with it, too. I mean, luckily I switched in High Dragon, so I'm actually just going to burn a turn of a... Uh, um, oh. What? Okay, now I'm lost, dude. I thought... Okay, I mean, it works. It, it actually does work regardless. I guess it works. You, you're either going to switch into Torkoal and Heat Wave, or you're going to switch into Indeediness, press Expanding Force. So, yeah, good job. I'm going to go in this guy, because he can actually press the Protect button, which should be super valuable here. Um, okay. Wow, this bird really ruins the vibe. So I can't protect because I'm a salt vest, so I'm gonna obviously try to kill that guy. And then I'm just gonna protect my kill waddle. They're gonna just go for... Pro I don't know what Torkoal's gonna do. I don't think they can press Trick Room, though. That's the good thing. They have to kill Hydragon, which I don't know if they can. Hydragon might just get off a nice fat Dark Pulse here, and the game should just be locked up. But, I don't know. Oh, I'm just faster than him? Or he's pressing Trick Room. Doesn't matter, he's dead. All that matters is the armor man is out of my game. Life can continue being good. All right, eat it, buddy. They're gonna go for eruption, that doesn't really matter. Um, honestly, oh, there it is. It communicated for a little while there. Yeah, High Dragon lives because it's got a soul vest. Feels good to be a High Dragon player right now. And I think I just win with, uh, with the bird here. I'm not seeing a way out for my my opponent here. Oh, there's this. I think we have to press this. Which means I, I could, they do have a way out. A 90% way out. But then I, I don't know if I would win with, if they actually, if I miss this, I don't know if I could win because I think Golden Go can't kill both these guys because I have to lock into something. I could lock into Power Gem. That actually might win me the game. I don't want to have to think about that, though. Let's just hit the Draco Meteor, call it a day, and go on to the next battle. Oh, come on. I hate this. Come on, lock it in. All right, protect Torkoal. All right, we win no matter what now. Now they can't kill I, They can't kill both my wands. Oh, yeah. Tailwind time. Power up the wind boosters. Let's get that wind power flowing. Draco Meteor comes through. See you later, Mouse family. They're dead. All right, cool. This is, this is good now. Now... Now we're chilling. Now it's time to repeatedly flinch our opponent to death until we win this game. How does that sound? Dark Pulse. Air Slash. You don't get to play the game, buddy. All right, battle's canceled. So we take the first game. We didn't even get to press Disc Quake. Um, go next, I guess. Let's, let's get to press this button. All right, so now we're rank 129. We're moving up in the world. We're better. We're different. We're insane at this game. But I think... If we win one more, we don't break top 100, which just sucks. So I guess we'll have to win two more with this team. I think we can, though. We even beat the dreaded Murkrow, plus U-turn, Mousehold, plus Armourous Strats. Who could have thought I could be able to do that? But I simply could. So we'll have to see what we find next. Hopefully, I'm praying here. No Armour Rouge. Armour Rouge, Wide Guard is just annoying. I don't... It ruins the whole vibe. Like, I'm trying to spam spread moves. That move stops spread moves. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. All right, 794. It's a little low ranked. We'll take it. No armor rouge. They do have Murkrow, which is a mild annoyance, but I also think it's totally fine. Let's lead. This quake. <laughs> and let's bring. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hi, Dragon. I'm going to bring Sylveon this time. I am going to bring Sylveon. I think Sylveon's way better than um, Golden Go. I don't. He's cool. He's cool. He's still, he's still number one in our hearts, but. I think we should bring in Sylveon this time. They just, they have so many Fairy Weeks. I'm seeing four right off the rip. Obviously, only one of them can Terra, too. So, we're going to be able to smack them with some Hyper Voices, potentially. Or, we're just going to win on turn one with some Disquake strats. Come on. It's it's a win-win. It's a win-win. I really need to change my trainer card as well. I really do. Hopefully, next episode. All right, let's see what they're leading. They're going to lead with... Meow, Scarta plus Murkrow. Annoying, but okay. What I'm going to do, turn one, hear me out, is... 
crazy stuff is Tailwind. And I'm actually gonna go for a Dragon Claw into the cat because I want it to be in discharge range next turn. This is looking good. They set up Tailwind, nice. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna set up Tailwind. They play rough my Garchomp. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, they played rough my bird! Oh, this is good! <gasps> but I Dragon Clawed. <sighs> oh, I don't appreciate that. I do not appreciate that whatsoever, buddy. That was kind of sick, though. That was kind of sick. This is the first time I've ever been screwed over by Protean Meowstick. Or Meowscarta. Meowstick. I don't know what I'm smoking. All right, let's go for Discharge. Hear me out. And Rock Slide. Let's let the game decide our fate here. Also, I think this play is what we need to do. We, if we get a para on, on Meowscarta here, perfection. If we don't get a para, we probably still kill Murkrow, so... I'm hoping. I don't know if we'll actually kill Murkrow with Discharge. I'm just kind of hoping Wind Power is that strong, but I don't know. That was a really bad turn one, but it could have been worse. They could have killed Garchomp, which would have made me extra sad. They would, they would draw. Nothing wants to take this whatsoever. Nothing does. That guy doesn't, I'll tell you that much. He doesn't like Rock Slides. All right, Discharge coming through. Oh, Murkrow's dead! And we get the pair. I don't think it matters. I think he's about to die too. Oh my god. Unbeatable strategy? Could it be? I didn't even quake. No! Oh, it hit. Yes. I thought it missed. I thought it missed. I was really, really scared there that we missed that move. That's just two free, free KOs. And it's the power of the bird. The reason the bird hits so hard too is because its ability boosts its next electric attack by like basically choice specs level when you get tailwind set up so it's just it's just lit i just love it um i mean i just hear me out i actually just do it again <laughs> wait what do we have in the back if things go south here like let me make sure oh we're good player a little scary though but if they if they play rough they lose if i Terra here, so I'm just gonna do it. I hope they don't Terra into a flying type on Golden Go, but I guess, I guess if they do, they're about to get smacked daddy by the world's strongest discharge. So I think Garchomp should live. It did take one hit. I don't, I don't know. This mod goes kind of crazy. Also, if we get a para here onto the cat, we just auto win. So here's hoping, right? I didn't really want that one, but. Oh, I wanted that one. Good night. GG, man. GG. GG. Good game. Good game all around. It was just well played by both of us, really. Really, it was just well played. See you later, buddy. Is it kill the cat? No, it doesn't kill the cat, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We actually just disquaked our way to victory. This is so silly. All right, what's the cat going to do? What you got? What are you, you going to... Oh, you're gonna do nothing, and you're gonna get cleanly foroed by Disquake. Yep, yep. That's how. That's how it is. That's how it be. That how. That's how it be. That was. That was so dumb. <laughs> oh, this is not good. They have rain, which makes it illegal for me to just set up Tailwind. They'll still be pretty speedy. They also have a Raichu, which I guess the the Quake part of the Dis does ruin Raichu's life. So that is a positive here. I like Kilowattle as a lead. Because I don't think they have two things that can outspeed me. That's the, the benefit here. And I do have a Focus Sash, so I am living. I think I'm going to leave Garchomp Kilowattle. <laughs> I, I like how I explained all this stuff, and then I just did it anyways. I love Hydreigon. I like Golden Go. This is so dumb. This team is so silly. We don't even need the other two Pokemon. We just need four Pokemon. And that's it. But for real, though, I think we can just press Disquake, and it looks pretty good. Or I'll just set up Tailwind and then kill Raichu in my own time. And that sounds good too. Probably have to double protect if they lead Raichu though, which is a mild inconvenience, if you will. All right, we're gonna see a Pelper Dreadnought lead. I can't help but feel like, oh no, Pelper. It gets the wide guard ability. All right, I'm gonna turn one, go for Tailwind. We're gonna fish out for this wide guard ability, and then I'm not gonna tear ground, and I'm gonna go for Dragon Claw. I don't know if this guy can one-shot Garchomp. I like, kind of feel like it might be able to. But he looks so moist. Look at him. He looks so shiny in the rain. The Dreadnought looks so shiny. Is that how he normally looks? Just because it's raining. Alright, they would draw Pelper. 
Okay, I mean, I guess I could have Earthquaked, and they're gonna go into the Pokemon fan, which is probably Raichu, right? Yeah, that's fine. Does this one-shot me in any capacity? I'm genuinely, like, really afraid it does. Does this kill Garchomp in one shot? Well, that doesn't... That doesn't help them kill Garchomp, but now I'm still scared. Are they just gonna Rock Slide and then flinch me? Miss, miss, miss Kill Waddle. I don't know which one that was. It was Garchomp. Please don't flinch me. Please. Game, don't do it to me. It's Life Orb, whatever it was expected. No. Kill a Waddle, no. How are we supposed to spam Disquake if you're flinching from a Rock Slide, buddy? That, that's it, man. You're off the team. You're fired. I'm just gonna let you faint now. You upset me in every way. I should probably try to tell it, I guess. They could miss. Um, this guy should try to Earthquake. <sighs> should I just double protect? I don't know. Hmm. They're probably just gonna... If I'm them, I fake out Rock Slide, but then you lose Raichu, which doesn't feel good. Then you just fake out Kill Waddle and, like, water move me. Let's just... Let's just double protect. Oh, not Earthquake, buddy. Put that away. Let's just double protect. I want to see what they're going to do. Let's waste the fake out turn. Because Raichu doesn't do much to Garchomp anyway, so it's not a huge deal. And then we force them to probably consider pressing Rock Slide again, which would suck. Yeah, yeah. They wanted to kill They wanted to kill our bird with fake out, and they're going to liquidation here. Yep, okay, cool. We wasted... We, we slowed them down a little bit with that double protect. Now... Here's the real sauce. What do we do here? I think we just try to get up Tailwind. Maybe they'll miss. Maybe they won't. And then I'm just going to go for Earthquake here. We can't Terra just in case they go for some crazy water move. Maybe they have like Faint on... No, they probably pressed Faint last turn, honestly. Does this guy kill Garchomp? I still don't actually know. I, I never assume anything kills Garchomp unless it's an, like, an ice move. But even then, like this guy's so bulky, so good. All right, they're giving me hope. They're giving me so much hope. It's probably Pelper though, so they're probably just going for Rock Slide. What they should do is just Liquidation me. <gasps> how was I faster? What is he doing? How was I? How did? How? On turn one, I su I didn't outspeed him, right? Well, this Earthquake sucks, but we got Tailwind up, which is awesome. I'm so confused. Why is it the world's slowest Dreadnought, too? <laughs> Why is it slower than Kilowattle? Alright. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um. Huh. Well, this, this changes the game a little bit here. Makes it more interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go into the Golden Man. The Golden Man looks like he can clutch it. Golden Man is about to go golden crazy. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go for Flash Cannon here. We're gonna kill this guy, because we know he's slow as hell. And I think we're just gonna Rock Slide. Should I just Declaw? I don't want them to get up Tailwind, is though, my only fear. Let's just Rock Slide. It has a flinch chance. It's better. Let's be real. It's better. It has a flinch chance. Why wouldn't I press this button? That's what my opponent did, and they got me turn one. We must be speed tying, because I know I got flinch turn one by it, which meant it went first. But then I always spit it with Tailwind, so... I don't know, man. He protects that guy. That's not good. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I might need a flinch here. I should have double, double tapped the Pelper. I'm a fool! I'm a fool! Flinch him. Take him out. I'm so mad at myself for that. But I'm gonna be bailed by the flinch here, right? Exactly. See, that's that's all you gotta do, guys. You gotta just rely on the flinch. You get it, you win the game. It's it's, it's that easy. That's what my opponent did. All right, this turn is so free. D Claw and Flash Cannon, so safe. We didn't want to lock in to make it rain because we don't want to um, deal with Wide Guard. Like I mentioned earlier, I hate Wide Guard. They protect Pelper. Don't care. This thing probably doesn't have Wide Guard. It's probably Water, Flying, Tailwind, um, and uh, Protect. So it doesn't even have it. But we're just making sure. We're playing around the pieces that they could have. All right, hit him with this big, juicy flash cannon. This is going to do crazy damage. This guy's out of here. Pew! Okay. We killed him. 
Terra type down. Repeat, Terra is down. All we have left is a 1 HP Raichu, a Pelper, and the Mystery Pokemon. Our Dragon's looking really good though, I'm not gonna lie. I was really afraid of that Dreadnought, so I'm glad, I'm glad it's gone. And I still have Tailwind up for another turn, which is pretty awesome. I think they send in Raichu here, and they just like fake out Golden Go maybe, but if they fake out Golden Go, I'm gonna kill Pelper. I can't use Make It Rain, I didn't mean to do that game. I wanna use this one, I wanna kill that guy. Like, <laughs> I think they lose two Pokemon if they fake me out. <laughs> they lose Raichu! <laughs> I'll take it straight to the bank. Alright, Pelper. Can Pelper live this? Pelper has some decent special defense stat, if I remember correctly. I have no actual clue, though. I really don't know this thing's stats off the top of my head. But I feel like a Specs Terra Steel single target flash cannon should KO. And it, it did. It did. To no one's surprise but slightly mine. All right, Tailwind's done, but now it is a 1v3. They do have, they don't have Terra type though. Ooh, this is rough. And it is that guy. Okay, that guy is a little scary. Uh, it's a little scary because it can start to get going here. And it also has super effective moves against my two steel, like I, I'm weak to fighting. Oh, I'm a, I'm a little scared here. I should be good though. Aqua Steps shouldn't kill me, right? Okay, I think we're good. For a second, I thought it was faster than Garchomp, and I was just speechless and, like, horrified that I was going to lose, but we're so fine. <laughs> we're so fine. <laughs> the, 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 the duck can't beat us. The, duck, the duck's got nothing on me. Finish him off, buddy. Woo! All right, another dub. We take those straight to the bank. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, silly little team that I found. I had a lot of fun with it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great and amazing day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.